Okay, here we go. We're uh, ready for our first trial. Uh, the uncertainty that sits here right now is uh, will the noise, the electrical noise from the plasma cutter, uh, that would be a real bad place to be, cat. Maybe you should go out. <laughs> um, will the electrical noise from the plasma cutter uh, scramble a computer? Like uh, basically make it lose steps, make it do weird things, that sort of stuff. Uh, the other uh, thing is that it's become very obvious that I really need to put some nice long wires on those stepper motors so that this stuff isn't sitting so close to it. You know, like uh, that's not exactly the uh, most uh, fireproof barrier to sparks, but it's the best I can do at this second. Uh, so let's go. We got my cheap Chinese plasma cutter here. We're on, we're on cut. I think I'm going to have to kick a cat out. So hang on a sec. Okay, so here we go. We're on. I turned the base amps to about 90. I'm not sure. I don't remember how this worked. This so machine worked with the uh, plasma cutter, but I assume that the base amps is about the only thing that you're going to uh, affect. And I'll turn the pulse current to 90 as well, just in case it makes a difference, but I doubt it. Oh, I gotta turn on the air compressor. Hang on. <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. We're all connected up. Uh, we'll hit send on here. I had to use a different uh, software package. For some reason the package I was using on the other computer won't run on this machine so I'm using this thing called Universal G-Code Sender. Okay we're gonna cut a circle we'll see how we go. It should be about an inch in diameter I think. odd. I think we saw a glitch. As soon as that fired up, um, the uh, this thing glitched out I think on me. Let me just see. Because this thing thinks it's still going. So, okay I'm going to have to do a little bit of diagnosis. But it, yeah, it looks like this got glitched. Okay, hang on. Well, that's annoying. I uh, gave up uh, for the moment. I think I blew out one of my stepper drivers. And it just so happened that it was this far one where the wires were very close to the metal that was being cut. And I suspect that it blew out one of the stepper drivers in there. So I will definitely have to work out a better way of uh, shielding these wires. So I'm going to take it out, put some longer wires on this. Probably replace that driver if that is indeed what the problem is. If I'm lucky, it's just a loose wire in one of those connectors, but I don't think so. That was too coincidental for it to have happened then. Uh, anyways, uh, that's uh, probably it for today, guys. Don't worry about it. I will get it working.